So we have this old propane tank that needs to be recycled, recertified, but we're gonna make it into a forge. Okay, let's see if we can focus this better. My hand's in the way. No gas in it. Before we start cutting into this, we're gonna need to take this valve off. That can be tricky sometimes, it's in there good. So I have this pipe in there to help keep it still. And then I'm using a pipe wrench to pry it open. But I struggled. This it was difficult to get off. Eventually I just used this still pipe that gave me the leverage that I needed. And we loosened the valve. So we're gonna pull it out. Then we're gonna rinse out the inside, put some soap in there, rinse it out again, make sure that there isn't any propane. We don't want, we don't want to start a fire or have an explosion due to leftover propane. So, make sure that we clean it thoroughly before we cut it up. Now that the soap and water's all out of it, we don't have any more propane either, it's time to start grinding it. I've cut off the top, used a flap disc to smooth it out, and now we're gonna measure it. Cut it open and get our slot for the forge. It's difficult getting this square with the rounded surface. Measured it out, but I think I'm slightly off on one side. To put in the kale wool, the ceramic insulation, we need to cut it open. When it's cut open, we'll slide it in and start welding. My buddy is going to help me out with this. I'm just going to tack it here and there. Okay. And then we can take the magnets off. Okay. And should be it. We got it all welded together. Have a little shelf right there in the front. The insulation's on the inside. We're gonna cover that up with some refractory cement. And we're also gonna put in a fire brick just to have a harder flat surface right there. So we insert that and then we're gonna paint it up. But this way does take some welding. Luckily my friend had all that equipment and was able to help me out. So we're gonna use some high heat paint and cover it up, make it look nice. Now that it's all finished, it's time to light it up.
And that's how you build a forge in your backyard. Pretty simple. But now we have a lot of future projects coming, so make sure to just subscribe for these future knife builds, most likely. A little bit of Damascus. We'll see.